guys, so this question is an inequality and it's asking us what value of P satisfies the inequality shown below. So we're going to have to be really careful and once we solve it, we're going to go ahead and draw a number line that shows the answer that way we know, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I've got a pen to work with, maybe. Yep, okay. And I'm going to draw a line, okay? Now when I look at both sides of that inequality, I see that there's parentheses on one side. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is distribute. So I've got negative 3 times P, which gives me negative 3 P. Then the second thing I've got, Shannon, is negative 3 times a negative 2. That gives me a positive 6. Please always use your calculator so that you don't make a mistake that ends up costing you points on a test. Okay? Uh, that's okay, Miles. Just let it ring for now. Uh, so we've got negative 3P plus 6 is less than negative 30. So what's the first thing that we have to do, Maricela? We have to subtract 6 on both sides. So we're going to bring down negative 3P is less than, and if you put this in decimals, negative 30 minus 6 is negative 36. So to finish this out, we take that negative. Is Ray Bishop in there? Yes. Okay. His mom didn't know he stayed. I'll, I'll let her know. Thank you. Sure. So we're going to divide each side by a negative 3. And that will give us P. And this gives us 12. Negative 36 divided by negative 3 is positive 12. But there's a problem. I divided by a negative. What happens to the inequality, Leah? It flips. So I, my answer is P is greater than 12. So if you don't want to say it that way, the way I say it, whatever you have over here, whatever variable, I say your answer has to be bigger than 12. So is 0 bigger than 12? No. Is 4 bigger than 12? No. Is 12 bigger than 12? No. But 14 is. The only way that 12 would be an answer is if that said greater than or equal to, and it doesn't. Okay, so let's go on and we'll do the next one. It says, what is the solution to the following inequality? So again, I'm going to draw my line. This looks like the problems where the prince was going to save his princess out of the tower. And that's the same thing here, except we're using inequalities. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a force field around the princess so she doesn't get hurt. Okay? This says divided by 5. And even though it looks weird, what's the opposite of dividing by 5? multiplying by 5 on each side. So that'll cancel out and I bring the princess down to the ground and I multiply 1 times 5 is 5. Now, what's my next move here? Tell me. I'm going to subtract 3 on each side. That gives me negative x is less than 5 minus 3, use decimos, is 2. I'm not finished. Morgan, how do I get rid of that negative in front of that x? Divide negative 1. You have to divide by negative 1. But when I divide by negative 1, what happens to the inequality? It flips. So x, or my answers, have to be greater than negative 2. Okay, so let's just talk about it just for a second. So my answers have to be greater than negative 2. Is 0 an answer? Yes, yes 0 is greater than negative 2. 
Is negative one an answer? Yeah. Yes. yes. Is negative two an answer? No. no it's not. Because that is not equal to. All right. So let's go on to our next set of videos.